So we're given in this question a circle, told its equation. We're also given a straight line y equals 3x and asked to find the coordinates of the two points where this line intersects the circle. So when we're given a couple of equations, in this case a line and a circle, find where they intersect, we solve simultaneous equations. So we'll look at the two equations, y equals 3x, and we look at x minus 2 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared equals 25. And we say, well, both of these statements have to be true. So in particular, looking at y equals 3x, we can replace the y in the circle equation by 3x. And that leaves us with an equation with only x in it. So if we multiply all this out and solve, we should be able to find values for x. Now remember, we should be getting two values for x, one of them positive and one of them negative, and then be able to get the corresponding y values, again, one of them positive and one of them negative. So let's proceed with multiplying out these brackets. So x minus 2 times x minus 2, um, in case you need to see this pattern first, outsides and insides will give us a minus 4x, and then the last give us plus 4, and then the 3x minus 1 times the 3x minus 1, first will give us 9x squared, outsides minus 3x, insides minus 3x, and that's minus 6x, and the lasts, negative 1 times negative 1, gives us plus 1, and that gives us 25. So our x squared terms, there's 1 plus 9, that's 10x squared, minus 4x minus another 6x, be minus 10x, and 4 plus 1 is 5. And if we take 25 away from both sides, 5 minus the 25 will be minus 20, and that should equal 0. Now there's a common factor of 10, or we could divide both sides by 10 to get rid of that factor of 10. And we're left with a quadratic equation, which hopefully we'll be able to factorize. That's xx, only one choice, a 2 and a 1. So it'd be minus the 2x plus the 1x. And always check this, multiply back. First give us x squared, outside 2, 1x, inside 2, minus 2x. So that does give us minus x, and then the lasts multiplied give us the minus 2. So two factors multiplied together give us 0. One of these factors must be 0. So x minus 2 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. If this was the case, x would be 2. If this was the case, x would be negative 1. That ties up with the diagram, x equals 2, x equals negative 1. So let's deal with them one at a time. When x equals 2, and we'll use this equation now to determine y. y is 3 times 2, which is 6. And the other point, when x equals negative 1, y will be 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. So the two points, remember we're asked for the coordinates, so the two points of intersection are 2, 6 and negative 1, negative 3. And again, you check up on the diagram that everything looks sensible. They're not scale drawings, but they do have to... Now, ah, I got this wrong there, the negative 3. So my double checking there was important. I missed out 
well, I, I, I homed in on the fact that I'd written three instead of negative three. So it shows how vital that double checking with the diagram is to make sure everything makes sense. So there's the two points of intersection, two six and negative one, negative three.